hello and welcome to this first week of uni vlog. Yesterday it was March and uni went online and lockdown came into place and now we're in the end of September, uni is back. What's even wilder is it's my final first week back at uni. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> this is my third year of my psychology degree at Queen's. What's extra scary is that I can see my thesis deadline every time I log on to Canvas. It's the 21st of September. see that my thesis is due on the 23rd of April but it's all good I'm gonna do some pre-readings then listen to the lecture sometime this afternoon Okay, every clip from today has been really chaotic because all I've done is sit, drink tea and watch too many episodes of Sherlock rather than my lectures but we all need a chill day sometimes don't we? And today has been a glorious one. Good morning and happy Thursday. I've been an appalling vlogger on Tuesday and Wednesday but let's hope we can make up for it now. It appears every time I talk to a camera I have freshly washed air but let's call it productivity. I've got some lectures to get through today and it's to write readings to do because even though it's the first week it's still wild. I'll catch you in the end. It's another weekend, which means my first week back to uni is done. Woo! Even after only one week back to uni, I'm already grateful of the break of the weekend for reading books and watching YouTube and doing things on my laptop which aren't online lectures. Where's reading week? I am excited to get back in next week and get back in the swing of learning. But ever since the vlog footage ended on Thursday, I've been given a thesis supervisor as well, which is Really exciting, but terrifying, but also a more exciting bit. Earlier in the week on my Instagram story, I put a little question box for you guys to send in any questions related to like uni, education, school, anything in the education realm. And we're gonna answer them now. The first question is, did you find the uni workload a lot more than school when you first started? Potentially an unpopular opinion, but no. I find A-levels a lot more full on content wise, hours wise and assessment wise. But yeah, whenever you first get to uni, I had 12 contact hours. I had four or two hour lectures. So that puts the archive to eight. 
then one hour tutorial and two hour labs which is like 11 hours i have 12 in my head so maybe i've missed an hour somewhere and uni lectures do not like to read assignments so my first assignment was for like halloween and you started uni obviously like at the end of september i think in the first year i only did two essays a research proposal and a lab report i literally have four or five assignments of the entirety of my first year of uni which is why i was considering an a-levels i probably would have had about five assignments a month so i personally did not find the workload as much but readings and referencing were quite a lot of work because they were very hard to get used to so university readings where your lecturer expects you to have read like a 50 page document before the class and it will discuss it like you have already read it even though for a long time I did not. So overall no, but some things are different and hard to get adjusted to. Learn how to reference, I only realised over summer at my research assistant job that I have been referencing incorrectly for two years. Two years? Do you know the amount of assignments whenever I got 68%, whenever I first was 70 and I'm now going, if I reference properly, I would fully bloom be sitting on a first rather than just on the cusp of it. Reference properly, please, for me and you. <laughs> my second question is, what main things have you done to prepare for final year? Cry. Cry a lot. I'm partially kidding. I have cried. I don't recommend it. The amount of crying I've done within this first week, the vlog very conveniently skips that footage. But the main things I've done to prepare for final year is trying to get my sh** together. I'm trying really hard to do my readings before lectures. One of my modules has been taught by the director of the clinical psychology doctorate program. He teaches his lectures like we know those readings inside and out. I did the readings and sometimes I'm going, oh, I don't remember this bit. So, but I'm really trying to get the readings done ahead of the lecture so I get a kind of brief idea of what the topic is before your lecture explains it. Another thing I'm really trying to do is stay on top of things. But with online learning, it's really easy to get behind because you essentially, like, I'm in my bedroom. I technically have all the time in the world to listen to two hour lectures. You know, like I've got a whole day and my only task is to listen to the lecture and to like make notes on it. I'm really, really trying to not let it overlap into the next week. Like say for example, I have a lecture on Monday and it has technical difficulties and it's not completely uploaded online and on Tuesday and Wednesday I have more things but maybe the first time I can squeeze in is Thursday so technically I'm a few days behind but I've caught up that's fine but I'm really really trying not to let it overlap onto the next week so everything has to be done by Sunday night getting ready for a new week to start afresh and move on to new content. Another question I got asked is what are your tips for condensing large amounts of information? If it is for an exam flashcards and Quizlet all the way. Whenever I left TCSE French and Spanish, I never thought I would touch Quizlet again in my life. But to my French and Spanish teachers, if you've watched this, I still use them quite frequently. For learning definitions, flashcards and Quizlet are amazing. Another main tip, which is actually a psychology tip, which is really fun because I get to nerd out about my subject while just being in general, is all about the retention curve. The basic principle of the retention curve is the sooner that you re-look over your notes, after you take them, the better they are going to be stored in your memory. The basic premise is from the first day that you were in your lecture until two weeks afterwards, the rate of retention will like dramatically lower. I think for your best chances of retention, it is within three days to kind of reevaluate your notes. So what I try and do is I like to scribble on my lecture slides whenever I'm actually in the lecture and make very basic notes on top of the content that's already there. What I try to do after my lectures is to write them up very neatly in a notebook, telling my notes, notes from the reading and the basic notes from the lecture itself. But I find going over this maybe like the same day or the day after your lecture really helps you to remember and it'll stick in your memory for a lot longer rather than if you just leave it. Psychology is bloody fascinating and it even helps you study fave cafe around your uni and your order. This one's a no-brainer, an oat milk dirty chai from Cafe O. Absolutely beautiful. I'm good at that I'm doing online learning and I don't have one of those in my hand multiple times a week. Cannot recommend enough. While I've said told me this, I'm going, when's the next time I can be in Belfast to get my hands on one because I need it so bad. And finally, one of my friends asks, how much coffee do you drink in a day? I'm concerned. It's a lot should be concerned. Uni has turned me from someone who drinks a chill cup of tea to someone who drinks three or five cups of coffee per day alongside plentiful tones of 
Coke Zero during aesthetic sessions. I need that good caffeine. I actually did a research paper on caffeine and cognitive performance. That paper drove me to so much caffeine, it's unreal. Maybe there should be some concerns about my caffeine consumption, but I don't plan on stopping. I actually just had a coffee before filming this video, so I'm slightly buzzed. Okay, so that's all from my rambly questions and from this first week back to uni vlog. It's been fab, I've enjoyed it once again. I love filming vlogs and bringing you guys along for moments in my life like this final first week and it really means a lot to me that you guys hang out with me and watch these videos. So thanks so much. If it was your first week back at uni, I hope it went well and if not, see you next week. Bye.